Bay. You work the control panel. Hurry! Shit, there's no end. Here he comes. Let him have it. I don't know who this man is. Drop your weapon. This is your first warning. Oh, those years. Nothing but lies! Drop your weapon. This is your second and final warning. <laughs> what? Why? Why, you son of a bitch! Externally indistinguishable from humans? When in God's name did robotics get this advanced? The tech to build a robot skinned in a living layer of cells has been around for some time now. It's just been illegal. Well, it's much more than that, gentlemen. The AI is particularly fascinating. Far beyond our products here at Bergen. We can barely even analyze its neural structure. Well now, Mr. Bergen, this is ridiculous. You are supposed to have the most advanced R&D in the world. And now you're telling us that someone is just a teensy bit ahead of you. Only because we haven't been allowed to venture into that potentially lucrative area, General. Perhaps if this government hadn't given in and signed the new Geneva Convention, the United States would be producing such robots already. We're a God-fearing country, Mr. Bergen, and only he may create life. Mr. President, this isn't life. Convincing as it may be, it's still a robot. We call them hollow children. If it's indistinguishable from humans, where does the machine end and life begin? Well, this is philosophical bullshit. There are only two things that matter now. Number one, if you did not make this thing, then who did? And number two, why did it come after you? What do we know about this hollow child? It was granted a green card 30 years ago under the name Dominic Barry. 30 years? Jesus H. Christ! If not for yesterday's events, we may never have found out it existed. We're now certain there are more living among us in America. Well, no, that's insane. Not really, General. Now, just what in the hell do you think you're doing? You see, it would appear that hollow children actually believe they're human. Well, oh, this is bullshit. <laughs> I'm no goddamn. Mr. President, I can think of only one man with the knowledge and resources to build this robot. Dr. Yoji Amada. Huh. A recognized genius in the field of AI and founder of Amada, Japan's largest robotics corporation. You don't sound too sure. So this photograph is 40 years old. Amada hasn't been seen in public since. Well, that's crazy. He'd be 80 years old by now. The Amada Corporation is in league with Japan's new order. I read about them. Isolationists. Self-sufficiency, that's right. Yes, sir. They wield a lot of influence over the Ministry of Homeland Affairs. And you really think they're behind this... infiltration? Besides myself, 
Amida is the only man I know who's capable of this. All right. Get me the IRTA in Geneva. <laughs> Woo! There's our way out, man! Yeah. What a plan, huh? Right? Right. This part of your big plan, too? Whoa. What the hell is that? Base to Beetle 2. We've reestablished the comm. Do you read? Loud and clear, Major, but make it fast! We have detected multiple rapid and intense heat signatures near the seawall. Looks like a large-scale battle. And? Well, radio chatter indicates that the Ministry is trying to flush out the resistance. That's all fascinating, Major, but we got a situation over here. Go! Point is, stay on the seawall for a while. Right now, outside the wall, it's crawling with security. Oh, no, he tells us! Thanks for nothing, Major! <laughs> so much for our covert up. Take them out! Whoa! Talk about a close one! Dan, watch out for those pipes! Whoa!